Hello, 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 and welcome to a bonus video of sorts. This is very much not my usual topic. This isn't about zines or anything like that. So if you're not interested, totally cool, totally understand. <laughs> but uh, as if you've been here for a while, you know that uh, recently I did some fundraising for a very, very much needed uh, CPAP machine. And so I thought I'd let you know, like, what things are happening. <laughs> <laughs> considering that many of you very generously uh, shared and donated to that fundraiser so yeah I just thought <laughs> get into things and maybe if there's someone like me out there who's um, on the brink of getting a CPAP or thinking about getting a CPAP uh, this could be helpful for them too maybe so yeah a little bit of a detour uh, <laughs> a side quest uh, from the usual zines and, and things like that but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just really excited to share with you what's been happening and, and yeah I, I feel like it's kind of it would be one thing and with health stuff of course it'd be one thing for me to just like not talk about it but you know your girl likes to overshare your lady likes to overshare <laughs> I'm 37. I'm trying to stop calling myself a girl. Um, <laughs> anyway. Ah, oh, talk about a tangent. Um, anyway, so I wanted to just share where I am because I'm, I'm already really excited and things to talk about already. So, um, <laughs> a lot of people uh, who, um, donated, shared and everything. And a lot of people just got in contact and said like, listen, my, my dad, my uncle, my cousin, my partner, um, a lot of people have slap, slap, <laughs> sleep apnea and are dealing with that. It's very prevalent. And the thing about it is it's so, I didn't, I didn't even realize like I'd heard of it, but it is so important. <laughs> Zine cat Asimov. Um, it's so important because sleep affects so much. Like I, I, I already knew it affected a lot, uh, just by the way I existed, <laughs> but it, it affects even more than I realized, which I'll, I'll, I'll bring up later when I talk about like how it's been going so far, but I wanted to show you a little bit, just like where I am. I'm still in the initial stages, like the cost of everything included, like these, um, weekly appointments for a while so I'm doing my weekly appointments and in these appointments I'm testing out different masks and things like that. Now I started out because I tossed and turned a lot on my sleep test they started me out with something that has a lot of headgear and <laughs> my friend Black Wolf um, really liked the uh, how, how I called myself I felt like a steampunk elephant but yeah it's this headgear like this and you have this whole thing that goes over your entire nose and this hose hooks into the hose on the machine and everything like that. So I started with this um, and wow, <laughs> it definitely wasn't the most comfortable thing, but it wasn't the most uncomfortable either. I just realized that I'm a person who apparently likes to sleep with their face smashed into the pillow. Like <laughs> I motorboat my pillows basically. So, um, <laughs> so I started off with that, but, um, we decided to try some other ones as well. And now you see that headgear had um, a tube on the nose. This one, the tube attaches to the top of the head. So <laughs> exterminate. Oh, I know that's, that's the Daleks. What's the Cyberman? You will be assimilated. <laughs> and then this was, this is like, a much better one that that doesn't you don't need as much if you're not moving around it's there's not much as much of a worry about it staying in place hey baba hello from zine cat asimov hello mama mom's doing show and tell right now so she can't hold you okay okay <laughs> off you pop darling oh. there you go anyway <laughs> so asimov um so this one has a couple of different attachments that I've been trying out. This one just has a slit. This goes right under your nose and that pressure, the air pressure just goes right into you, right into your schnoz. And then you have this one, which is a bit more fitted with the individual nostrils, like going right in there. Now I have come like going off the, the first one, <laughs> the, the steampunk elephant to, um, Cyberman. 
was a big difference. I found like this one, um, sleeping with this combination feels like barely wearing barely anything compared to the, <laughs> the, the other one, the first one. So I will be switching over. I'm very happy about that. Um, <laughs> cause I do still toss and turn a bit, but like not while I'm sleeping just before I get to sleep while I'm getting all settled in. But yeah, I do. The one thing about this one, I, th I thought for sure like this one would be more comfortable because it's not so like into your nose a bit. <laughs> But the one thing about this one is that I do need to turn my nose ring up. Otherwise, my nose ring presses into my nose and that can cause, like, irritation and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> you be sneaky. You're sneaking. I see you. I see you, Bubba. <laughs> CPAPs and sneaky cats. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, I've talked to the sleep tech... Uh, a couple of times now. I mean, I talked to um, her before in regards to everything after I got my initial test, but yeah, she's super nice and yeah, it's just really great. <laughs> really, like I'm really impressed. Like I had hoped obviously with the, that kind of cost involved beyond like it, it was included with like the machine and everything, but with that much cost involved, like I was hoping that <laughs> I want to get really supportive care and I really really did so if anybody's like in Murray Bridge like area or something like that definitely like I can give you recommendations for sure <laughs> so that's where I'm at in that it's, it's still very much beginning stages and everything like that I'm really excited everything came like <laughs> a nifty bag and like that's for that had all the the machine the tubes the masks the cleaning supplies and everything like that so just this little thing. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't expecting anything specifically. I was just hoping for like good supportive care and I did get good. I am getting good supportive care as well as, um, you know, all the follow-ups and everything, but yeah, everything coming in like a schnazzy bag definitely doesn't hurt. <laughs> I'm not really a bags in persons kind of person, but, uh, good messenger bag. <laughs> I know I'm such a dork, but <clears throat> so excuse me. So when it comes to sleep apnea, the, the number that they really pay attention to is your AHI. Now I'm not an expert on this. I don't mean this to be any sort of explainer about what AHI is or anything like that. Um, <laughs> I'm still very much learning about all of this still. It, it was very overwhelming at first. And so, <laughs> you know, you step back when you need to. So I'm still very much learning and everything, but AHI is the big number and it, ha it has to do with like, it's kind of an amalgamation of all the different kinds of events. Cause they're an event is when you stop breathing for more than 10 seconds, but there are different kinds of events. And so it's an amalgamation of that. Now at my worst before the sleep apnea machine, I was at 47.4. Now it is normal for people to have an AHI, uh, anywhere between like five and below. What we had discussed during the first appointment was that, uh, our first goal was to get me down to 10 and then ideally, ideally under five. So that was kind of like long-term goal. Like don't, don't expect like miracles overnight, that sort of thing. Wow. So I was at 47 point poor. 47.4 which is a very not good number <laughs> which is definitely severe sleep apnea and <clears throat> so I got home and I hooked everything up and went to sleep even with the first mess that was quite like definitely took some getting used to so I was really, really used to it the first night um my AHI zero mm -hmm, zero not one, not two, not 34, which would have been an improvement to 47. What did I say? Yes, 47.4. Would have been an improvement. No, I was at zero. Like the, the follow up the next day, because there was a, a next day follow up after I first got the machine. I was, I, I was feeling a little bit shy about it because I just got the machine and I thought, is it, is it broken? Like, did, 
did something happen? Like, do we need to make a warranty claim already? Like, is the machine broken? Because I'm, I met zero events and I was at 47.4. And she's, she was, oh, she was so happy. Like, no, no, you got zero. So, <laughs> normal. Like, people who don't have sleep apnea, like, normal, like, sleeping at night is up to five and I was at zero and yeah life changing <laughs> and that's just the numbers and of course like I love statistics if, you, if you've been here a while you know I love statistics and numbers and stuff like that just weird statistics and stuff like that um I think I said stuff like that twice <laughs> hmm. but it's one thing for the numbers but like how I felt now well, I got home and set everything up and I went to sleep that night and I'm wearing this thing on my nose and it's pushing air and, and I, I, have a, I stay at a really relatively low pressure set, setting. We haven't had to adjust that by any means, which is a very good thing. Um, <laughs> and so I, I cruise like between like five and eight, eight at like eight or like incident, almost incident sort of thing. And Anyway, just in case anybody is like really knows about CPAPs and <laughs> wants to know pressure and everything, I, I generally c cruise five and six. Um, <laughs> so uh, I did it the first night, and the the like the first thing that struck me was how weird it was because I'm used to having like I'm going to struggle to explain it, so bear with me. <laughs> I. I mean, toward the end of everything that really got me going to the, the sleep specialist and everything, I was waking up short of breath. I was waking up to toss and turn a lot. I was waking up to um, use the bathroom because apparently, as I learned, using the bath, waking up to use the bathroom is actually some people's first sign that something is wrong with their sleep because when you get proper sleep, there are hormones that are supposed to happen that keep you asleep and tell your, tell your bladder to just go, shh, we'll get to it in the morning. You know, that sort of thing. And so, <laughs> yeah, I was waking up all the time. So I was used to my, my nighttime being longer, like just waking up several times at least, and it's still being night out. So it was very, it was, it was a subtle shift, but it was definitely a shift to, to wake up and the sun was already up. I'm like, wait, wait, what happened? This is only my first wake up. What's going on? So I went to sleep and I woke up and the sun was up. Like I, I slept through the night and it, uh, or, uh, I don't know if I'm making any sense. And I feel like I'm not. I feel like if you, if you haven't experienced it, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around. Uh, but, but yes, when you, like I've had years, years of waking up through the night of, I fall asleep initially and then the next several wake ups, it's still dark outside. So my nights were longer, but not really. <laughs> I hope I'm making at least some bit of sense. So yes, that, I think that has been like a very subtle, but such a mind shift to close your eyes and then the very next time you open them it's the next day it's so weird <laughs> it's so weird <laughs> and I know it's it, and I know it sounds weird that I feel like that's weird <laughs> but anyway. so I wanted to like go over it like the very first night of having a proper sleep, having my brain get the oxygen it needs, of staying asleep so my um, all the hormones and the body rhythms and everything that happen throughout the night, the cycles that your body goes through while you're sleeping, to have those uninterrupted all through the night because that's one thing about sleep apnea even if you're not waking up all the way there are these rhythms that happen while you're sleeping and if one of them gets interrupted and you wake up but then you go back to sleep again you don't go back to that one you go to the next and so that's how 
so many things are interconnected and so many things can get screwed up because it's not just, oh, I had a bad sleep and I'm tired. It's your body has all these like processes and procedures that it does at night and it doesn't go back to finish the job if you wake up. So anyway, I woke up the next morning, you know, fully oxygenated and I was, and I just felt like, like clarity, like, it's hard to describe, but I felt feel like I have been in a fog, in varying degrees of fog for years, and and it just and towards the end that that prompted all of this, um, it was very bad. Like I felt like I was physically, mentally, emotionally, and like my entire soul was exhausted, <laughs> and. Yeah, it, it, I, I woke up and I was like, my body was still like, we're going to take a while. Okay. But my brain was like, oxygen, oxygen rocks. <laughs> you know, breathing is awesome. <laughs> but yeah, just the, I woke up and I just felt clear. Like I felt sharper. Not like ideally I'm, I'm going to you know, discover aliens or something like that. Like, I'm, I'm not going to solve, I'm not going to translate the Voynich manuscript anytime soon, but just, it was such a noticeable difference to me after one night, one night of proper sleep. And it was like, oh, <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, and yeah, I talked to the sleep tech because there was, a, there was a day after follow up and she said, you know, you know, dramatic. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Don't expect every morning to be so dramatically different. And uh, you know, obviously, I wouldn't. But it was, it was definitely like quite clear. Not like, mm, do I really feel a little bit different? Do I really? Do I really? Mm, 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 mm. I did. There was no doubt. And believe you me, if there's anybody who's good at doubting me, it's me. <laughs> so yes, it was fantastic. So I've had some nights since then, uh, so, and there've been the, like, it hasn't, there haven't been any, like, as dramatic jumps, there's just been different things going on. I didn't, for the first, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say for the first time in my life, because I'm sure there have been times that I can't remember every single morning, but one big thing that I didn't expect that nobody mentioned or anything, but I have since, you know, done the Google searching and discovered that other people experienced it, waking up hungry. I was always, always, always the person who could skip breakfast. Like, I was not really, like, I like breakfast food. Don't get me wrong. Like, mm. <laughs> give me some ba eggs Benedict anytime. But, <laughs> but waking up hungry, like my stomach is growling, like, you know, some, some stuff's actually happened. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know why it would happen or anything like that. I haven't looked into like the science of it, but I woke up hungry like stomach growling hungry and I was like holy cow is that is that like a thing is like do other people wake up hungry like you, it's it's just stuff that I didn't really think about like I assume like some people wake up hungry but <laughs> it's just crazy and it, <laughs> I feel like a kid on Christmas morning like I'm just getting really excited except there's no Christmas and the presents are weird <laughs> but I am like super excited. <laughs> um, one thing, another thing I didn't, I wasn't warned about. Uh, and it, it, I mean, everybody's different. So the severity of your sleep apnea, how long you've had it, like who you are in general, like it's all going to be different for everybody. So this is just my experience. But as you probably, I, I'm sure I've expressed it before. Uh, your nix is a very sensitive person <laughs> and so one thing I did not expect is the sensitivity I I have been crying a bit more like like don't like nobody worry or anything but I've been really sensitive um I've been kind of hyper bubbly I mean that's hyper bubbly is not different for me but it's kind of it hasn't been that I'm so exhausted <laughs> it's it's genuine like I have some energy and this is so new to me I hardly know what to do with it like 
Is this what other people really feel like? Is this what people who get proper sleep actually feel like? I knew that there would be an energy difference, but to actually feel it and my body, there's still, there's still tiredness there. I still know that I have a, like a lot of sleep debt to pay off, so to say. Um, but I just, it feels different and good and like, I know it'll take some time to like get to <laughs> reach peak Nyx, <laughs> but, but it is, it is different and I, I'm really, it's given me, I've always had a bit, sorry, I can finish a sentence eventually. I've always had a bit of hope in me about what I want to do for sea green scenes, what I want to do on YouTube, what I want to do in general in life and everything like that. but. This feels, for the first time in a long time, like, oh my goodness, like, sorry, there was a bit of dust there. <laughs> it feels like, yes, I have chronic illnesses. Yes, um, I have mental health illnesses, but I feel like I, this could, I could really do stuff again. Like, for the first time since I got <laughs> taken out by my autoimmune stuff. I'm really feeling like, hey, I could get finally get some of these projects done, which makes me wish I did all this like years ago. But you know, it took things getting dramatic for me to actually go, mm, maybe I should take care of myself. <laughs> so yes, I didn't, I didn't expect the emotions and the hunger. Uh, I, 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 I expected energy, but like, I didn't know how it would feel because I've been tired for years, <laughs> which sounds over dramatic, but now, um, having experienced some energy and I know that it's just going to improve, uh, it's yeah, I've been tired for years <laughs> and, and it's not just, um, it's not just how I'm feeling as well. It's, it's behavior as well. It's, it, there are things that have just dropped off. like. I toward the I want I keep saying like the end but I mean it is the end like toward the end before I got the machine I was drinking so much coffee just to function and the coffee wasn't even really working as I wanted it to um <laughs> definitely not working as I wanted it to um my coffee usage just dropped right off like I will maybe have a coffee some days I go without and that's within a short span of time. So it was kind of like, wow. And again, toward the end, I would, I would get to the point where like the mid afternoon slump, I would, I would have to like, I would just sit at my desk and put my head in my hands and like doze off for a little bit because I was so tired, but I was refusing to go to sleep, <laughs> like take a proper nap in my bed. I just refused to, cause I had too, too much stuff I wanted to do. And it frustrated me to no end because I'm like, I shouldn't be this tired and everything. I haven't had to do that. I haven't had to had like put my head down on my desk and just like close my eyes for a while. And this is just within such a short frame of time and I'm, I'm really excited. And I know there'll be like up days and down days and like there will be days where maybe I do need some extra coffee and there will it, maybe a days I need a coffee for something other than the pleasure of the taste of coffee. But, um, yeah, so far things are just, it's been a bit tumultuous. I'm, uh, to be honest with all the, like the hormones, hormones, emotions and everything as everything's like regulating itself after being dysregulated for so long. Yeah. It's, it's been a bit tumultuous at times because I'm kind of like hyper and then I'll watch a really sweet video and I'll just be like, <laughs> like I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> But yeah, so hi. <laughs> uh, for those who watch this, I just want to say like thank you, and I just I, I wanted to do an update to be like this is this is what you have helped make possible, and it's amazing. Like for everybody who shared their stories with me, which encouraged me to get a CPAP as fast as possible which helped encourage me. It wasn't just the anxiety about <laughs> not breathing at night. And I was, I was, 
I was actually getting more and more anxiety about going to bed at all. So it was just getting worse before up leading up to the um, getting the machine. I, I, I was just so the, the thought of just, mm-hmm, I won't get into it. I don't want to like trigger anybody or anything like that. But I was getting more and more anxious about just the prospect of going to sleep. And so, yeah, having this machine and just, I think as much as I like sharing about all this and and like the hope of somebody seeing it and going, oh, maybe I should get a sleep test or maybe I should get it. I should get a CPAP or stuff like that. If I can, like that is my hope. But above all, I want this video to be like, to be an example, to show you, to show everybody who shared their stories, who shared the fundraiser, who donated, who sent me messages of encouragement, like, "Mm, there are the emotions. (laughs) I want to show you that, that this is amazing and you have literally changed a life. Like, (laughs) you have literally, profoundly, changed your life and I am infinitely grateful to each and every one of you and I'm so excited to see what comes next in life what where things go from here because there is still a lot of upward space to move and yeah so (laughs) oh goodness me thank you everyone and thank you to everybody who's watching and whether you're watching now or like years in the future maybe maybe there'll be more updates i don't know i just want to i just like the sound of cpap diaries but i don't know if there'll be actual plural ones but if you ever want an update let me know that's all good but i wanted to do this one to show you and just explain like you've literally changed your life and i cannot express how amazing that is <laughs> so thank you thank you thank you thank you to each and every one of you oh goodness me all right so time to get going time to get get this video edited thank you very much once more and until next time hug yourself give yourself some credit pat yourself on the back whatever you you want to or able to do uh <laughs> Know that you're amazing and spread a little sunshine. I said I wasn't going to (laughs) cry. Oh, goodness me. What a world. (laughs)